Merry Christmas, everybody. everybody welcome back I'm just putting a few rows into my dad's hat whilst I'm sat here chatting um how are you feeling today I'm okay I kind of had a bit of a rough night I tried to go to bed early but I struggled to get to sleep so I'm a little bit tired today but we've had a really slow and chilled out morning I put a few rounds into my husband's jumper and then just spent some time kind of getting ready. I talk about this reasonably often if you're new to my channel. I um been through some mental health journeys and I've discovered a lot about myself and how my brain works in the past year and taking out even 10 minutes, 15 minutes from long social situations for myself I find really really helpful. I get a little bit overwhelmed socially sometimes so coming upstairs and putting a podcast on and slowly doing my makeup and getting dressed that all helps to my social longevity <laughs> is that a word so yeah that's what i've just been doing and i thought i'd like pop on and have a little chat with you guys before i go back downstairs now i'm going to address the elephant in the room and i always get questions whenever i wear it but this is my um little sparks it's my own design, it's my first jumper design, but I haven't got it to the testing phase yet. The grading of the adult size is intense, so I'm taking my time with it. I don't wanna rush it or get it wrong or have to go through a really lengthy editing process because it's full of errors. The child's version is ready to go, I just need to do the test call. And I was tempted to do it in um, December, but then I also thought, Laura, don't overwhelm yourself. Vlogmas takes up a lot of your time. Let's not chuck a test knit into that as well, especially when I'm still working on a test knit. So I thought I'm gonna leave it until January when my knitting calendar is free and I can put, focus all my energy into it. I'd also, I also need to knit another of the mini size because the sample that I've got is in a yarn that isn't right for it. So <laughs> I need to have a different one. <laughs> for the sample picture so i'm going to do one because i've done a little red one for my daughter and i'm going to do one in my sun size in like a gr neutrally greeny color so that my daughter can wear it in a couple of years as well um, i also need to kind of film a little tutorial to how you start the color work at the neckline because it's a little bit strange <laughs> in order to get the color work to oops sorry in order to get the color work to meet here and not have a gap where the increases are you have to kind of establish the color work whilst doing your first set of increases so and the way i do that is different to the rest of the yoke so i need to just film a short little clip of that it's not going to be a proper video or anything it will just be unlisted on my youtube so i can link it in the pattern but it's not like on my youtube for everybody to see because it's pretty irrelevant if you're not knitting that pattern <laughs> So yes, I do intend to come back to my little Sparks design in the new year. And whilst we're talking about design as well, I have got some other designs on the go at the moment. In my latest podcast, I showed you a pink ribbed hat and mitten, singular, I haven't done the second one yet. And I'd basically gone through the first stage of designing that with all the ripping back and the adjustment. And they do need one more adjustment, but they are ready to have the pattern written. Um, so that's on my list as well, but I think because I had only just released the school run collection, which is, you know, hat, mittens, headband, 
it didn't seem like it was a good idea to then release another winter accessory collection straight after so i'm letting that sit for a little while as well and i'm going to work on it in january too and then maybe release work to release that um early next year kind of before before winter is over but it might be that that one is for next year's cold season so that might be next year november just like the school run series was so yeah there's lots more designs to come to you obviously i've already done a school run collection and i've got two color work sock patterns out as well which are doing well and it still it still blows my mind every time i get like a little ping on my phone from my paypal app saying that somebody's bought a pattern and it it fills my heart with joy every single time but this month we are focusing more on the YouTube side of things. I'm still hoping to do a podcast this month, but it will probably be like in the week before Christmas, maybe so I can kind of show you my Christmas knits and everything and all the gifts if I've got them all done by then. Today we should be going to the glass blowing thing as I mentioned last night. I'm not sure when, I think we're all just happy to take it easy today. Um, and then it will be back home again for some chill out time. And then we're off back home tomorrow. I think I'm probably going to take tomorrow off like I did on Sunday. I'm finding four days in a row of vlogging. It's that's comfortable for me. And then taking a little break means that I can then come back with um, more energy and everything. And tomorrow also, honestly, in the morning we're just going to be packing up, driving home getting back home and i'm going to be shattered and i'm just going to want to chill out so i don't think tomorrow's going to be particularly interesting and then we'll be at the weekend i should probably go back downstairs now and get the kids dressed <laughs> maybe i'll knit for just a few more minutes <laughs> Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas What did you think of the glass blowing, Jeff? Good! You liked it! We blink and then it's gone So we better make the most of what we've got So take your neighbor by the hand And join the dance parade Before the clock strikes So the glass blowing was great fun. Jeff said he enjoyed it but actually <laughs> he wasn't so into it. He got a little bit up. Uh, well, not upset, but a little bit scared when he first went in. But I was really proud of him. He managed to find his brave and he did watch. And I think he did find it interesting. But yeah, maybe a little young to appreciate it. But I absolutely loved it. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a, like a show on Netflix called Blown Away, which is all about, it's like a glass blowing competition. It's amazing. It's so fascinating to watch. It's making me want to go and watch that all again now. Maybe there's another series. I think we're just gonna tuck ourselves in for the night now, have some lovely food, chill out together because it's our last night together and I'll probably be stuck to a puzzle for the rest of the evening. So I will take this opportunity to say thank you for watching it again and I will see you in a few days. I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow as I mentioned earlier because it's a boring day and it's good for me to have a little break. So I'll see you at the weekend. We've got some really exciting things going on. On Saturday we're going to the Black Country Museum and we're getting our Christmas tree. So I will be back with you with a very, very festive day. Enjoy your Thursday night and Friday Friday night and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Sit. Poor, poor. Good boy. Catch. Good boy. Oh, you're all wet. Oh, you're all soggy.